Um, hello everyone, um, this is a video of using LP Assistant for the example LP5, which is 3.6.2 in the textbook. We will go through an example um, like this to show, to show you how to add um, artificial variables to certain constraints, not to all of them. Okay, so if you open a new problem, this is uh, what you will have in your LP Assistant. So let's check if the number of variables and constraints are correct. So what we will do now is to input the standard form. So we have five variables. So we go to Tableau. We need to add two more. So X5, right? And then we have three constraints. And let's add one more constraint. Okay, so now we can put in the equations. So the first one, the coefficient is negative 1, 2, 1, 1, that's 0, and 1. And then for the second one, I get negative 1, 0, 2, 0, negative 1, and 4. And for the third equation, I get 1, negative 1, and two and then four and then um, for the the z that will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 so one 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 and it's zero there okay and now um we take a look as we talked about in the in the in the video in the class we see that x4 can already be used as a basic variable and it's in this position. So here for this x, we click on that and that is chosen as the basic. And then we lack two of them. So here we click on that and we don't have a basic variable for this line. So we add an artificial one. Once you click on that, you see there is a shaded in yellow part showing. Okay. And then this equation for W is showing. Okay, and then on uh, on this constraint, we don't have a basic variable, so we're going to add a artificial variable for this. And now you see x6, x7, they're artificial variable. These two columns are shaded. And then the last, last one here is the equation for W. And uh, what it does is take it takes these two coefficients add up the column only containing the last two rows and take the negative here okay and then here it only adds up four four and it's eight so you get negative eight okay so that's how you um put in only some variables and some constraints adding artificial variable not for all so the first one we didn't put Okay, then this is done, and the next step is to go through a pivoting process. Okay, so um, you go through stage one, you find a negative four, and then you figure out what, which one to pivot. This has ratio one, this has two, this has two, so we will pivot here and click on this one, and then you get the second part of the tableau. So, and then you look at this equation and you have a negative four, and then there are two positive coefficient, and this has ratio two, this has ratio 0.6, so you click on that one. Mm -hmm. Then you get the third part of the tableau. And then here you see that all coefficients are positive, this part, Therefore, you conclude that the minimum of W is obtained, which is 4 over 3. So it's strictly bigger than 0. So as we know, that indicates that the original constraint has no feasible solution. Okay, so, um, okay, so um, that will be discussed in the other video. So here, the whole point is to show you how to add um, artificial variable for certain constraints okay so hope that helps and uh, hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time